Okay, so someone called Laura Hutchinson just asked me a question about how you can copy text easily without using a mouse in Mathematica. And I was just about to type a reply, and then I remembered that actually there's quite a lot of funky shortcuts and things you can do with Mathematica um, if you know how. How do you copy text without clicking on it on, with a mouse? Well, you use a touchpad or a stylus or a keyboard. No, I mean, there's, you can do it many ways. One way to copy text is um, to hold shift and move the arrows around. Another way is to press control A. Okay, so I think the funkiest stuff that you can do to save yourself a lot of time is by doing things with these sort of gray half bracket things that you find at the right hand side of the screen. So you can do a lot with those. For example, suppose you want to copy this command a load of times. I don't know why, but if you did, you just click on this and it doesn't matter how much stuff there is in here. There could be lots of commands. So we could have another command, uh, h of x equals x squared, say, and all sorts of things. And if we want to copy them, we just hold this and press control C and click somewhere and press control V and we copy everything in there. That could be a thousand lines of code. And all you have to do is click this to highlight it. Another great thing you can do here, if you type something, well then you can change how Mathematica interprets it. So at the moment it thinks it's a variable name. But let's say we don't want it to think that. Well, we go to style and we just tell it what it is. So is it text? Maybe it's text. Okay, and now it actually looks like text. And in this manner, we can literally make a document very, very simply. So maybe this one here is actually a title. Whoops. But also, another very fast way of copying text, just before I go off ta completely tangentially, is simply to double click on the brackets. So if we double click here, we highlight everything that's enclosed within these brackets and the function acting upon it. So if we double click here, for example, that will get the function left and everything inside it. And this is really useful because Mathematica, you build code from the inside out. So when you want to replace something, you just sort of click on the brackets of the part that you want to replace, and then you can paste something else in. Um, something I like to do occasionally, I'll get Mathematica to speak to me. Okay, so the way we do this is right click on it, and maybe let's change this into some text. I don't know if we have to, but we can just right click and speak section. There we are. Um, I'm not sure if you heard that because of the way the microphone's rigged up, but it should speak to you anyway. So you can use it to read documents out to you, which is pretty cool. If you um, can't be bothered to actually read it, you just paste it into Mathematica and have it read it all out for you. And all the rest of it. There's so many things you can do with these grey brackets. Um, and also you can hide things. That's it, yeah, you just double click. You can double click on a section and then it'll vanish. Anyway, perhaps I can finish my fun coding assignments. And here we are. So this is something similar to what um, Stephen Wolfram was doing with his continuous cellular automata. Um, and we can get some nice pretty patterns out here uh, in his book, A New Kind of Science. So I thought, you know, why not put a little plug in for A New Kind of Science while answering a question? So I hope that helps you out. Um, any more questions anyone has, please just feel free to ask. 
especially these nice short ones. It's quite enjoyable to help people use this beautiful language.